Hi, I have a Bible story I would like to share with you. I like this story because it, it talks to us about how to, we can talk to God and how we can listen to God. This is a story with a woman named Hannah and her husband. They were walking to a town where there was a big festival. And the festival was a time to thank God for everything that they had. The people gathered and they, they thanked God for their families and for their friends. They thanked God for the food they had and the homes that they had to sleep in, for the land that they live in. Well, Hannah was thanking God for all those things. She was very thankful, but she was also a little bit sad. Hannah really, really wanted to have a child and she had no children. It made her really sad. And she had talked about this with God. Well, on this day, she was saying thank you for what she had, but she also really felt like she needed to talk to God about her desire to have a child. She decided to go into the temple, which is like the church, and talk to him. She said to God, God, I am so sad that I don't have any children. I ask you to see me and to hear me. I ask for a child, and Lord, if you give me a child, I will give him back to you. I will have him dedicate his life to you, God. She was sad and cried, and she really talked to God. The priest was nearby, and he quietly watched her. He knew she was having a big conversation with God because she was crying. She was pouring her heart out. She was not talking out loud. She was talking in her mind. You know, we can talk to God. We can pray to him out loud. We can sing a prayer to God. And we can think our prayers inside. And God hears them all. So he didn't know what she was saying, but she, he knew she had some big words and big conversation with God. And as she was leaving, he said to her, God hears you. Peace be with you. And she went out. And she went back. She felt much better after talking to God. It feels good to talk to God and tell him what you think. And off they went back to their home. So we know that God always hears our prayers. He hears when we, what we think in our mind. He hears our prayers out loud. And sometimes God says yes to the things we ask for. Sometimes God says, no, that's not what I need for you to have right now. He knows what's good for us. Sometimes God says, not right now, but maybe later. So he had told Hannah, not right now when she asked for a child. But then one day, Hannah had a baby. She was so happy. She had a little boy and she named him Samuel. So Samuel grew and he grew. And Hannah remembered, she had told God, I will give the child back to you. She didn't forget, she was gonna be honest and do what she said. She was gonna be responsible and do what she said. So when Samuel got to be bigger and he was ready to do um, some big things, she took Samuel back to the town and to the temple where she'd been to the priest, Eli. And she said to Eli, this is Samuel. Samuel, I am bringing so he can serve God. And Samuel stayed with Eli and he learned all about how to care for people, how to show God's love to people. And Hannah loved her son Samuel and she left him with Eli to, to do jobs with him and to learn. And she would come and visit him all the time she'd come to visit him. But he stayed with Eli and they worked together and he learned from Eli all about what it means to serve God. Well, one night, Samuel was sleeping in his bed and Eli was sleeping in his bed 
And suddenly Samuel heard, Samuel, Samuel, oh, Eli must be calling me. And he ran to Eli and said, Eli, here I am. And Eli said, what? You called me? I didn't call you, Eli said. Go back to bed. Huh. So Samuel crawled back in bed and suddenly he hears, Samuel, Samuel, oh, Eli must be calling me. Here I am, Eli. I did not call you. Go back to bed. Hmm. Samuel must have been confused. Who was calling him? Well, Eli lay here and he's thinking, who is calling Samuel? Then he heard it again. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel didn't know what to do. He went back to Eli again. Did you call me? No, go back to bed. Well, Eli's thinking, I bet God is calling Samuel. Sure enough, Samuel, Samuel. And he said to Samuel, next time you hear it, you will know it is God calling you and say, Lord, I'm listening. Okay, Samuel said, so he went back to bed and he hears, Samuel, Samuel. And this time Samuel says, I hear you, Lord. I'm listening. Well, God spoke to Samuel a lot. And Samuel grew to be a man who took care of people in many ways. He showed God's love to them. He was a good man. And Hannah, well, she had lots more children to love and take care of, and she never forgot to come and visit her son Samuel. And Eli, he continued to be a man of God who helped people and told them about God. God can use us in lots of different ways, and there's lots of ways that we can hear God talk to us. And one way is by listening to someone tell you stories from the Bible. And soon you'll be able to read the Bible all by yourself. So all the words in the Bible are true, and all the words in the Bible are the way that God can talk to us. It's not very often that people hear someone say, Miss Lois, Miss Lois, and it's God. But sometimes it happens. So go out, listen to God through the Bible, and remember, we can all be like Samuel and show people love and show people about God. Because one of the things we've learned in, in, at UCNS is that God wants us to love him and to love all the people of the world. I know you'll go out and be good bucket fillers, loving all people. Thanks for listening.